A crib of rose rays. December 11th, second luminous mystery, the wedding of Cana. Do whatever he tells you. Jesus, today I heard your mother say so to the servants at the wedding. I even saw them obeying her without asking any questions whatsoever. Was it their obedience that made the wine so tasty? You tell us to obey is better than sacrifice. Firstly, those servants filled the six stone jars with water up to the brim without making any queries. Then, despite knowing that there was only plain water in the jars, they obeyed you blindly when you asked them to draw some out and take it to the chief steward for tasting. Before serving, they did not taste it or even see it. Mother, wasn't it their close bond with you and their trust in your words that helped them to obey your son promptly? even though he had not yet performed any miracle until that day. So, here is your child who obeys you and the servants who obey your child. The fruit of obedience is so exceptional and so very potent. Peace be with you. The wedding at Cana is the complete picture of a genuine Christian family. Jesus is present, Mother Mary is present, and the apostles too are there. The miracle at Cana teaches us as that it's not as if a family who believes in Jesus will not be faced with trouble or difficulty. Instead, when conveyed to Jesus via Mary, he will be ready with a fantastic solution for your problem. The embarrassing situation at the wedding at Cana reminds us of this, that the Lord will take care in times of distress and difficulty. He will not let you be disgraced, neither will his mother allow it. Yes, she will plead for you. The apostles and saints too will join with her to mediate. Therefore, the best option when faced with a disconnecting condition is to pick up your rosary and invite Mama Meiji into the problem. Jesus just cannot refuse his mother. Let's try to imagine the scene in the house in Cana where the wedding is on. It should have been one of the close relatives of Jesus. Mother Mary, the responsible self that she is, must have been running around supervising the event. Else she would never have known that the wine had finished. Such matter we know will be disclosed only to the most near and dear one in the family. She has genuinely concerned about the awkward situation that the family had to tackle. Her selfless concern for that family made her push her son, apparently before time, into public ministry. Or maybe she led him on to the first step of his crucifixion. Dear friend, are you struggling to set your house in order? trying hard to bring peace, harmony and prosperity into the family and failing miserably? Well, try handing over the keys to Mother Mary and witnesses the miraculous revival that will take place. Give her control and she will take charge and manage beautifully too. She is waiting for you to invite her in, into your house. But there is one need that she insists on, 
Do whatever he tells you. Is what she told the family at Cana after recommending their needs to Jesus. Now, that's a bit challenging, isn't it? Examine your ways. Do you do what Jesus wants? Do you counsel with Jesus? Do you match your desires with his will? Do you discern his wish? If that becomes your routine, then you may as well write the title heaven on your doorpost. Do you have the courage to do that? Another interesting point of the wedding at Cana is six stone jars. For the biblical viewpoint, the seven is a symbolic uh, completeness of perfection. So the number six here indicates a lack, a lack in your life. The lack could be in the form of shortcomings, adversities, disgrace, etc. But do not ever give up on your life. Because when the seventh one, the perfect one comes in, when he is allowed to intervene, he will fill your life to the brim with grace and sweeten it. The lack will be met and your life will become whole. And Jesus is the seventh one. So don't ever mourn or wail over the insufficiency of your life. Instead, go to the Lord through Mary. He will miraculously revive it. He will turn your plain water into good quality wine. He can. He is the sole possibility in every impossible situation of your life. Let's pray. Come, Mother Mary, come into my home, into my family. Bring Jesus and the whole heaven with you. Take command of the boat of my life. Let the waves rise or the storm rage with Jesus at the bow and you by his side. I won't be ruffled. Let us pray. Mother Mary, teach me to obey your Son always and instantly and to give him topmost priority in my life. Amen. Word of God, as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Joshua 24, 15 Aspiration Mother Mary, pray that I receive the virtue of obedience. Let us make visits to orphanages and old age homes, comforting and supporting the inmates. Also, let us remember to ask God to send plenty of laborers to work in the kingdom of God for vocations and to pray for seminarians and novices.